Hi, this is Mike Abney with Nitrous Express. Today we're going to tell you about one of my favorite products, the Nitrous Express Remote Bottle Valve Opener. Now Nitrous Express pioneered remote bottle valve openers back in 1999. In fact, we won a SEMO award for it. To install the remote opener, we remove the cover off of the hand wheel. That exposes our nut. We'll take our half inch. We'll loosen it. Now we'll remove the hand wheel. We'll install our collar. Now this collar will fit on other styles of valves as well as NX. We want to position this relief to where it clears the outlet nipple of the bottle valve. Use our Allen wrench to tighten it in the right position. Now we can install our new billet aluminum hand wheel. This has gears on it that the remote opener uses to activate, but you can also use your hand to open and close the bottle when you need to refill it. We'll install this, reinstall our nut. Next we'll install the Billet Aluminum NX Opener Body. This opener body can be rotated in four different positions for clearance reasons. The cool thing about the new Nitrous Express bottle opener is that it only takes one thumb screw to remove the opener body. This makes it awesome for removing the bottle whenever you need to fill it up and reinstalling it. It's very quick and very simple. The motor simply slips on. You use your single thumb screw Tighten that up, and it's locked. Now if we want to change it, we simply remove this thumb screw. It allows us to remove the body quickly and easily. I actually have a remote bottle opener installed in my Mustang, so we'll take you outside. We'll show you how quick it is to put in and how quick it is to take out. Okay. As you can see, I have my remote bottle opener motor laying in here. Whenever I go to change my bottle, I don't have to remove this. There's no big goofy clamp like some of our competitors use. It's quick and easy to remove. I can just leave it right there. So, we'll install our bottle. Now all we have to do is slip our remote opener, move our thumb screw, then we can reattach our feed line and we're ready to rock. I have a nitrous pressure gauge installed in the cab here. So you can see that right now, the nitrous pressure is at zero. Now I'm going to hit the open button. You can see the nitrous pressure went up. This is really important because if I'm driving normally, I don't want to have my bottle open all the time. But if some pesky Corvette pulls up next to me, I want to be able to hit the button and outrun them. 